coming together with community events and I'd like to keep doing more. So if you want to collaborate, if you want to talk to me more about that, let's keep doing that. Let's bring back, you know, collaboration and community because that's what it's about and that's what we need now. September 2001. I opened my tiny eyes that morning looking for exit wounds. Feeling the words, fatwa, sharia, America, all at once, like this was meant to be. Like the way men always are when they fall, suddenly near super still in reflection. Skin bubbles, life leaves you mid-flight. Life will leave you without an umbrella, against a burning mouth of desire. A stone face is Lady Liberty. Like the umma, I'm calling for my mother somewhere. As I discover my house was destroyed and I want to tell her we should have spent the Jackson 5 reunion naming corpses. Instead, we are left with hit music. What more can I give, is what they called it. Every underage American idol spitting Motown numbers made me forget about the body. Hurling toward con concrete, spewing tax dollars over somebody's breakfast, Ben Franklin's soot-covered C-note, and I are having a conversation about human dignity as Bush hails from a bullhorn. I can hear you, he said. The numbers rain in hurricanes, four million in Vietnam, one million in El Salvador, another million more in Iraq, another, an incalculable number in Palestine, an incalculable number in Iran, an incalculable number in all of Africa. The thunder returning, never striking again, again, and again. Have we, <clears throat> have we secured paradise yet? Which hemisphere is closest to God? Don't tell me how in the night, towering lights beam into the emptiness we call heaven. Yeah, heaven is black. Heaven is the uttermost. I too am an endless pool of water. When I see it again burning, it all comes back like a sickness. But I'm again learning my lesson about the girth of our weeping. We are stronger now, like all men who dig for their sons but never find them. I wish I could tell you it's September again and I am no longer tuning into the reaper. But the TV cord is plugged into the pit of my stomach. I am told my stomach is also my culture. I am told Washington may be interested. I am told liberation is like being in love with the idea of living. Uh, this one is called The Good News. Rain pelts the freeway as neon spells out what's to come. We are speeding across county lines, cobbling together an instruction manual for the unknown. Scuttling for shelter like sand crabs, our rocks overturned. We keep counting until we forget what we've lost track of. After 100, numbers become liquid, unfathomable, impossible to grasp. We become witness to a time as red as stars. The good news is, this will all be over someday. Today, the sky wears a closed mouth smile, and I wait for her to show her teeth. Today, the almond blossoms cloud the Central Valley like a perfect storm. Sometimes we can't look away, even knowing that the seeing will undo us, even when our eyes pinprick into glaciers. We place our fragile faith in each other, as naive as it is necessary. Don't hurt me, please, even though you can. I reach for a pen while the epilogue unwrites itself, vanishes into infinite numbers that slip away, Coin silver fish glinting in the deep. The good news is, this will all be over someday. This is about my uncle. To preface, uh, growing up, we always called him Coon, and it was not an insult. That was just like what everyone called him, so that's what I always called him, and I didn't even realize until college that we probably shouldn't have been calling him that. So. <laughs> called Uncle Sonny, because that was his other name. Those pearlies weren't so white, but the smile was wide, and it was all for me. I called him Coon before I knew the meaning and thought maybe I shouldn't, but I was used to it, and so was he. That man who didn't mind, wore it with his back straight, his arms by his side, and an open window in his eyes, my endearment for him. When they named the street after my Uncle Sonny, not everyone thought of yellow tank tops and the sun's warmest eye. They didn't think of Easter eggs at St. Anthony's Church and how they needed to hide. When Sonny sauntered through their minds, he was a half-filled 75th birthday bash at the Civic Center, a man who was not his older brother, a doorbell that rang and rang and banged until it was opened. He was a man with too many sounds to say, 
and not enough people to let their earbuds bloom. Yeah, my uncle Kuhn. One summer, my mom and him entered a boxing ring with their voices, the heavyweight champ on clear. No fisted hands lifted above a head. As he left, he gave me a hug. The roughness of the hair that surrounded his smile caused me to pull away, rubbing my cheeks and complaining about the itch. You know, what I've learned over the years is that music, DJing, is all an epistemology, it's all the way of knowing, uh, it's a world view. So this is where this comes from. It's called Ode Amplified. Appreciations, first and foremost to the loudspeakers, the active monitor 6,000 watt boom to fill cavern, to fill cave or cavernous sky, the way five and seven year olds can empower a morning, expand an afternoon, explode a summer bedtime. Much love to the microphones, handheld, wireless, lavalier, cardioid, dynamic, unidirectional, what inanimate object can come this close to a kiss. Shout out to the light emitting diodes in the dark, cinders alive, phosphorescent balance on the mixing board, how century old Lola's vital signs looked from the St. Luke's bed after her second stroke. Thank God for the reach into the bag, the extra set of rechargeable batteries, cells of gold in hand. Can't forget the speaker stands, tripedal alloy, with the ability to hold unknown heaviness the way dad endured after mom's death, with slender elegance over the five-year odds to double down 10, all elevation and stability and hidden hollowness. The cables. The cables, aux, XLR, RCA, the satis satisfying clack of the quarter inch plug in its connection. The way Lolo affixed the clip in his rifle as he hid under the table. The first round slid in the chamber while the Bataan death march rivered around his abandoned barrio. Respect to the power strip, the extension cord. These are immigrant inventions. I see you, zip ties. I see you, gaff tape, tucking away cords, how families conceal secrets, preventing stumbles but still perceptible underfoot, fault lines inching for years, then erupting unwarned. Gratitude to the sound engineer, thanks to the thumb and forefinger, the twist of knobs, EQs, and frequencies also used to turn pages of vague comics, sign debts, brush tears, text loved ones. Tease lovers. All these, all you, praise due for the waveforms of this sound through the one whose hands connected into it.